Welcome to a foggy, chilly day here in Colorado. A good day to do laundry, right? I'm going to turn this around. Hi everybody, my name is Tanya Neely. I am a wellness advocate for doTERRA essential oils. Um, I'm a mom of two and I, I'm a yogi and I blog as well and I just try to live a really holistic life as much as possible. So, I had started using um, a DIY detergent back when I was cloth diapering my girls and I was always using like a, a powder variety and it was borax, um, super washing soda and OxyClean and it worked really well but the more I read about borax the more I'm thinking eh, I kinda wanna get away from that so I'm trying out a new detergent like liquid detergent style that doesn't contain any borax and I found this recipe at Whole Fit, H-O-L-F-I-T and if you have not checked out Ange Peters blog you want to because she's got tons and tons of good ideas so I can't take credit for it but I'm gonna share it out um, and share how it works so I tend to use the a nice little Ikea jar. <laughs> I keep this in my laundry room. Um, and her recipe was a cup of Castile soap to a cup of baking soda, um, seven liters of water, which is around 29-ish cups. Yes, I can help you. Yes, mom of two. <laughs> can you say hello? Hello. <laughs> this is my little bird. My girls have decided they are going to a ball and so they need to get changed. So there you are, darling. <laughs> okay, anyway, so that was a cup of Castile soap, um, a cup of baking soda, about, I want to say two to four tablespoons of um, coarse salt, okay, seven liters of water, and then up to 20 drops of essential oils. So I don't tend to make that much at a time, and since this is the first time that I'm using it, I wanted to tone it down a little bit. Um, this only holds about eight cups of water, so I base my conversions off of that eight cups of water. Thank you for the hearts. Um, so I did about a fourth a cup of Castile soap, a fourth a cup of baking soda, and a tablespoon of salt. Okay, And then I used my On Guard. On Guard is a fantastic antibacterial, antimicrobial, antifungal, super amazing cleaner essential oil. Um, and so I put about 10 drops of that in here. Now my Castile soap was Dr. Bronner's and it was a tea tree oil soap so it also already kind of has that like Melaleuca tea tree um, in there because of the Castile soap. You can use an unscented soap, Castile soap as well if you like. Okay, thanks for joining everyone. Feel free to share um, if you are so inclined. We are working on a liquid detergent. This is a new recipe for me today and like I said before I got this idea off of Whole Fit H-O-L-F-I-T, Ange Peters website. Really great idea. So not taking credit for it, but just spreading the love. Um, this will separate, okay? So when you mix it all together, you want to use warm water, and then you just whisk it all together. And then I just left it overnight. I came in this morning, and it was about this much clear water, <laughs> and this much like white on the top. So I just shake it all up when I'm ready to go. And then I'm going to use about a third to, um, well I should say a fourth to a half of a cup of it when I'm ready to wash. So it kind of just depends on your load if you're doing a small load versus a big load, right? This is safe for high ener or energy efficient HE washers, so feel free to use it in that as well, okay? Shake it up because it looks kind of funny. Looks like one of those shots that's like the brain freeze one where it like curdles at the top. Ooh. Anyway, um, so I'm going to try this out today on some things that um, are not quite as important to me, <laughs> just in case, because this isn't my first go around with it. But I like that I can leave the borax behind. Um, just like I said, some things I've read about it have made me think maybe it's not the best choice, and there are, are other alternatives. What do you use to measure in the washer? So I've got some stainless steel measuring cups, and I just keep these, I keep one in the washer with me. Well, I shouldn't say one. I probably keep like the fourth, the third, and the half. Um, just in case. So I can use whatever I need depending on my load size. And that works out pretty well for me. The glass container, great for essential oils, right? And um, stainless steel, also great for essential oils. And super easy to clean. So that's about it. That's all I have today. I'm going to throw in some sheets. We're transitioning playroom and extra bedroom today since it's like foggy and yucky here in Colorado. So 
that's all I got for you. Um, try it out. Let me know what you think. I'd love to know what oils you'd love to use in your laundry room. And have a great day. See you later. Bye-bye.